pay you guys from the couch. I am, oh, there's Bandit, and I am on a heating pad right now. My like goal for today was to film a bunch of videos for you guys, and I literally got through one video, and I just, I'm so exhausted. Like, it's not even like exhaustion, it's more like I feel like lethargic. I had another doctor's appointment today with my fertility doctor this morning, and they, oh, what is it? Come here. <laughs> it's okay, baby. Um, so basically, um, I'm gonna give you guys an update with that and then just kind of literally give you uh, like a lay down vlog from the couch to kind of like catch you guys up on everything that's going on. I went in and if you don't watch my Instagram story, something happened with my like needle last night that I was injecting myself with. There was like all this white stuff on it. I was like really freaked out. It's like, oh my God, I'm gonna die. I have such bad anxiety that just like, it was it was really scary. Um, so anyway, I went in today. The nurse said, it's not a big deal. Like it's probably just like some of the medication like got out side the needle or something somehow. And so I think that's what it was. They did an ultrasound and my eggs are like, different size they're getting bigger but they're still all different sizes and so unfortunately they are going to have to keep me on the medicine longer and also add two more medicines so now i'm going to be taking two injections in the morning of two totally separate different like medications more injections and my surgery was gonna be on the 11th and they just pushed it to the 12th. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, and my ovaries are feeling so swollen and painful already. And they're only at like a 10, like some of them were at like a 10 and they want them to get to like a 17 or 18. And I'm like, like the size of it. And I'm just like, oh my God. And there's like nine of them on one side and like three on the other. And I'm just like, oh my god I'm already in so much pain like it hurts to walk like it hurts to pick up snow and I uh I just get a little nervous because I still know I have like a ways to go um of injections and then getting even worse getting even worse so um this time around I'm taking way more medication than I was the first time and uh I can feel it I was at Coachella last time. This time I'm on my couch, like barely able to do anything. So um, that's kind of the update with that. I also got my blood work done and everything came back fine. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the whole IVF thing. Um, what else can I update you guys on? Oh, okay. So this is a hard one. I am like highly considering moving out um of where we're living because there's a lot of reasons i i touched on it a little bit in my patreon q a that i posted a few days ago but basically what's going on right now is they passed some law i don't know if it was like in january or what um that like makes it so the people that are in like the jails and the prisons get released if they don't have like a i don't know what it is like certain charges they just get released because their prisons and jails are too full or something and so uh they also made it like that break-ins and burglaries are a misdemeanor offense and a lot of times they'll just let them go you know for the amount of money that we pay to live here which is way too much um i just i don't feel safe with it for one and i it's happening so frequently like the crime rate has gone up significantly here and i just don't want snow to grow up in that kind of environment also my viewpoints have changed so much just on like wanting to live below my means and um the only thing that really really sucks is that my mom and my sister are literally around the corner from me and they we all own like our houses and so that really sucks because i literally see them all the time this is like the worst angle of me by the, by the way um and so 
that will be really hard, but I'm like really highly considering just wanting to move. People were like, oh, well, if you have another baby, like, don't you need to like get a bigger house? And like, not necessarily. I mean, they can have bunk beds and share a room. Um, but you know, we can get something way cheaper and way bigger, you know, if we decided we wanted to move like a little further away from where we live now, cause we live like really close to the beach. And so it's really expensive to live here. Um, so we are considering moving out. Um, and I know that that's like a really stressful thing to do. Like when you're in the middle of trying to get pregnant and going through IVF. So we'll try to plan it strategically. Like obviously, you know, I'm, we'll stay here until like my surgery is over and everything and try to sell the house and, and maybe live in the motorhome for a little bit. Um, I, which I have wanted to do for a while. Like I love the snowmobile, our RV. We like renovated it and it's amazing. We rent it out right now. Like when we're not using it, um, it doesn't get rented out that often, but, um, it does here and there. And so I think being able to kind of travel in that for a little bit, like while we're looking for, um, you know, another place, I think, I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, what are your thoughts on that? Man, these medicines are really getting to me. It's the fifth day today that I've been on them and I'm like really feeling the effects. Like I'm just so just tired. Like it takes so much energy just to talk and keep my eyes open right now. Ivy up update, life update, are we moving out of our house update? Like we've only been here for like six months, but like that is a huge thing for me. Like safety and just feeling like I don't feel safe walking snow outside because every day, like I probably get five to six ring alerts um from my ring doorbell of like burglaries thefts there's constantly like police helicopters and sirens and like it just it literally feels like i'm living in like a really terrible neighborhood um and i i want to be able to like walk snow outside and like feel safe you know and i don't right now and so that's an issue for me so maybe we need to move into like a gated community and maybe find something that's like not as nice maybe we could renovate it um i don't know we'll see um but that's kind of like what's going on now also i have like so many gray hairs i cannot even tell you <laughs> what is my life uh anyway i'm exhausted um but i love you and it loves you and um, I'm trying to think if there's any other things I wanted to update you guys on but I can't remember yep can't remember anyway thank you for watching this boring ass video of my life update <laughs> um, IVF sucks and if you know anybody going through it give them a hug because they probably need one and if you're going through it I'm giving you a hug through this how cute am I? I'm such a fucking hot mess right now. Anyway, I love you guys. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy. And I hope to see you in my next video. Mwah.